Welcome to my build of a Piper Cherokee, um, a kit I've been working on which I got from uh, DB Sport and Scale. Okay, before I can go any further now with um, fixing the wings together and doing the sheeting, I want to put in the slots for the, the hinges. And the hinges that I'm using um, are mylar. Um, I've basically got a strip uh, mylar here which is 25 millimeters wide and according to the plan instructions, uh, the kit instructions, I need to cut 12 millimeter hinges. So here I've cut one now and what I need to then do is put a slot in the subleading trailing edge and the, uh, the edge of the aileron. Um, so put a slot in and then the hinge slips in. I'm not going to actually fit the hinges at the moment, I'll wait until the wing's covered, I'll relocate the slots and then I can just slip them in, glue them with um, super glue and, uh, and I will probably peg them as well with a cocktail stick just through the back edge. Um, so, first of all, I've put in my aileron in the wing and I've wedged it in with a piece of balsa either side uh, e e of equal size, so it's central, and I've marked the three, slot, uh, three positions where my aileron is going to fit. And now what I need to do is to put in the slots. Uh, you can see on the plans um, the, the slots are angled down on both the, uh, the sub trailing edge and on the aileron um, which puts a bit of a bend in the hinge so um, but it makes it a much stronger hinge I, I, I should imagine so what we're going to do first is remove the um, remove the aileron and support uh, the wing with a piece of balsa wood, so this is 6mm balsa, it just means that I can uh, put a little bit of pressure on that without fear of the, the wing moving too much. Okay, so this is the, the, the slot I'm going to cut for this, this hinge at the moment. And what I've done is I've, I've made myself a, a piece of um, plywood, just cut it to size 3mm ply, which sits, uh, which I'm going to sit just below where I want to do that slot and the slot that I'm going to do is uh, from there to there and I'm just going to push in at an angle maybe about 45 degrees uh, going down I just move this a little bit and then my hands aren't in the way so I've got that plywood just below the the, 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 the top of this balsa wood and I'm going to push this in at about 45 degrees and push it through and it's come out I don't know whether you can see the, the blade has come out the other side and then I'm just going to cut along to that pencil line and then I'm just going to straighten up that blade and I'm just going to move this backwards and forwards a couple of times just to make sure that's a, a good wide slot. So I'm not actually cutting here, I'm just using the blade um, to, to clear the slot out. Okay, so now I can remove my guide and get my hinge and that hinge should just slide in. Here we go, look. And now what I need to do is do a similar cut on the um, aileron, so if I just put this wing to one side and if I get the aileron again my piece of wood and again at about 45 degree angle maybe a little bit steeper I'll push in uh, the exacto knife and then just work that along and then straighten up the, the blade so it's cutting just on that line and then just work that backwards and forwards a little bit not too much because you don't want the, the, the hinge hole to be too big so we get our mylar hinge and there we go, fits in lovely um, so now if we bring this wing section back just get rid of that um, 
So now I'll just get on and do the other two and then this wing is ready for sheeting.